Hi Pisces, welcome to your February monthly tarot reading. My name is Hannah, welcome to my channel, and thank you so much for allowing me into your experience today. For your first crowner, you have insecurity. Clarified by the Eight of Cups and the Two of Pentacles. So what I'm seeing here, Pisces, is that some of you are really going to be discovering yourself this month and you're really going to be chiseling away at those things that, you know, make you feel not so great about yourself. So some of you, you know, if you're insecure about your finances, you may be looking for a better job in order to feel better about, you know, your finances and all of that stuff. Or if you don't feel good about your looks or about your weight, you may be eating more, you may be eating less, going to the gym. But I see you really trying to establish balance in your own mind and trying to ground yourself and root yourself back into the physical because Pisces, you've been very much in your head is what I'm seeing. You know, this root chakra energy that I'm picking up is the, the advice is to bring yourself back into reality because you think too much. And sometimes, you know, thinking is great. It's good to think a lot and it's good to be mindful, but thinking too much, you know, you tend to teeter on the edge. Oh, not insanity, not insanity. <laughs> As a water sign, I understand. Uh, but you tend to teeter on the edge of just driving yourself nuts, you know? So some of you are gonna kind of be walking away from that confusion. Maybe you're giving yourself more responsibility so that you can get out of your head and come back into reality. I see you going outside this month, spending more time in nature taking a walk, but I see you also going on this intrapersonal adventure. You know, you're going on an adventure to discover yourself and to balance yourself out ultimately. And I think for some of you, you know, a lot of these insecurities and these demons that have attached themselves to you. Now, when I say demon, I mean negative thought forms. You know, I mean that one nagging thought that continues to bug you throughout the day. That is a demon. You know, your demons have calluses over them. You see, there's layers that have been built up. So some of this stuff is deep, Pisces, it's deep. And I see you just chiseling away at those layers, you know, cutting it all away to get to the root of the issue, whether it's in a relationship, whether it's in yourself, whether it's in a job. I see you chiseling away at these layers of callous. And this could be also how you are as well. Some of you are very calloused from something. Maybe it's caused you to run away from your relationships, run away from your responsibilities, right? And I see you tackling something head on with this root chakra energy. You're bringing yourself back down into the physical and saying, okay, I need to get some stuff done here. But you have impatience for your second crowner. And it's clarified by the 10 of pentacles and the page of swords. So I'm sensing some of you have been keeping an eye on a job or a new opportunity here very closely. Maybe you've started on some sort of new idea and you have this vision of what you want to bring into the world, but it's not a very clear vision yet. It's still quite hazy. You can't see the exact picture. You know there's a vision. <laughs> there is a vision, but you can't see the whole picture yet. And I think for some of you, you're very impatient to getting to this end point, to getting to this vision and making it a reality, but it takes steps, baby steps, not rushing into it because you're very dreamy as a sign, right? You guys are very, very dreamy. Um, so what I'm seeing is that you guys have this wonderful idea, you know, you have this thought that just keeps playing over and over in your head. But I think the Page of Swords is the advice is to go about it logically. You know, get out of that feminine dreamy state 
and come into the physical with this root chakra energy. Come back into the physical and think about a plan, right? That's what separates dreams from reality is a plan, right? You, everybody has dreams. We all have things that we wanna do and things we wanna achieve, but not everybody has a well thought out plan. A linear, logical way of getting to that vision. That's what you need, Pisces. Some of you really need to write out some sort of plan, you know, get to the drawing board, get to your journals, whatever you need to do, take it out of your head and put it into the physical. Because you know this will bring you success and fulfillment and happiness and contentment and stability. You know, deep within you, in your heart, you know, but you need a way of getting there, you know? It's not gonna bring you fulfillment and contentment and stability if it's just in your mind, you know? So I sense that, you know, some of you need to stop being so impatient. Patience really is a virtue, guys. It really is. You know, communicate what you want. I think your spirit guides are trying to communicate with you and say, you know, hold up, hold up, Pisces. Just wait a second. Just allow yourself to conjure up a plan or a system or a way of getting there. You know, for some of you, it's a promotion. For others of you, it's a business idea. For some of you, you want to start a YouTube? Go for it, guys. It really just takes that one video. That's all it is. That one video that gets, you know, you put it up, it's up, and after that, it just becomes so much easier. It's just getting over that little hump of, you know, the fear and the anxiety of posting your first video. I understand. <laughs> I, I do, I understand. But some of you really need to have some patience because if you do rush into something, it's going to overwhelm you. You're going to end up more confused than clear-minded. But I have this enlightenment card here. Clarified by the Eight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. So the Eight of Wands is all about unexpected things that come into our lives. The unexpected is kind of what I'm seeing with this card. Also a release of something. I feel like some of you just want to get away. That's kind of the advice here. Some of you need to just get away. Get away from your town. Get away from your home. You know, go spend the night at a friend's house. Go to the town over. Book an Airbnb. Book a hotel for a night. Clear your mind. Do something, some of you may do this, some of you may make an impulsive decision to get out of town for like a couple of days. You know, take a road trip. I see some of you taking a road trip. And it's in order, it's, it's to establish more concentration and more of an understanding. Because I think some of you are very cluttered with responsibilities right now. Like I said, you've got a lot going on. There's too much going on at once. You know, some of you are juggling relationships, jobs, multiple jobs, kids, finance problems, marital problems, all kinds of stuff. Some of you need to just get away for like a day, two days. I promise you it'll bring you peace of mind, it'll bring you contentment so that you can move forward and you can release things. Some of you really need to let go of control, the need to control situations. Detach yourself in order to find true enlightenment I don't really like the word enlightenment. I feel like it's kind of an egotistical word. It's like, oh, I'm enlightened, right? Um, there's no such thing as true enlightenment. It's just becoming aware and continuously becoming more and more aware. 
there's no level of enlightenment that you can hit and all of a sudden you're a guru, you're the most enlightened person on the planet, right? Like, I don't really like that word because I think that's kind of the connotation that people typically associate with that word. But I sense that some of you need to find clarity. When I see enlightenment, I think of bringing the light, you know? Some of you need to find clarity in your own situation. You need to shed light on your own emotions and on your own situation. So that you can propel yourself forward into wherever you want to go. But you have this workaholic card here. So some of you could be teaming up with somebody, you could have a mentor, somebody who kind of guides you, especially through some sort of creative endeavor. There's something here that you do, Pisces, and as a water sign, you know, you are very, very creatively driven and expressive. But some of you have kind of repressed those talents is something that I'm seeing. Some of you are really good at singing. That's what I'm seeing. Very talented voice, or you could be a public speaker. So some of you may write speeches, you may write poetry. Get back into it. You may find that something good comes out of it. But I see you burying yourself in your work in order to build up a wall against something else. So maybe some of you bury yourself in work in order to get away from a problem at home. But the underlying energy is the Queen of Swords, so whatever this is, it's not going to go away. You can shut it out all you want, Pisces, but it's not going to go away. You have to speak up. You have to talk about it. You have to communicate what's wounded you and be willing to work on it. Because I kind of get this energy of just like, woe is me. You know, it's kind of like, oh, my life sucks. Things are going so horrible. And I'm not saying that's the energy for all of you, but there's quite a big group of people in here that are very much in this like wounded energy, like, oh, feel sorry for me, victim energy. That's what I'm picking up with this Nine of Wands. Very strong victim energy, and I don't like it. I'm very against victims, guys. I don't like victim mentalities, especially with how much personal power we have over our lives and over our emotions. You are too much of a gift in this world to feel sorry for yourself, Pisces. You are, we all are. We're too big of gifts to feel sorry for ourselves. Life is too precious, it really is. So I don't feel sorry for people who victimize themselves, I really don't. It doesn't make me wanna pity them. Um, I don't feel anything because I don't judge them either. It's who they are, it's who, on their path, you know, they're on their path. Does it mean I condone it? No, but maybe they'll discover that that is not the way to achieving true clarity in their own life and true peace, right? Because that's what we all seek, is peace and happiness and contentment. And if you're in a victim mentality, you are not gonna find that. Just letting you know. Okay, so you have four of wands. So I do sense that some of you possibly walked away from a connection that you had with somebody or a contract that you had with someone. There could have been a work contract. Some of you may have been juggling multiple jobs and you had to walk away from one. But I also see this four of wands as trying to establish harmony. I think some of you really want to manifest a beautiful relationship. I think some of you want to get married. You know, you want to have a connection with someone else. But these insecurities are getting in the way. And because these insecurities are getting in the way, Pisces, you continually walk away from things that are good for you. No tea, no shade, as the wonderful Sal says. I'm sure 
plenty of you know who Sal is. Eat, read, love. Check out his channel. He's a wonderful reader. Um, but you know, he's always saying no tea, no shade, and I, I mean the same thing. Some of you have great things going on, but that insecurity just... It makes you walk away. It's, it's almost like for some of you, you know, maybe you feel like this person isn't enough. It's that inner sense of insecurity, that inner sense of lack. When you find fulfillment within yourself, Pisces, you will find fulfillment with another person. You will not think that they need more or that you need more. You'll be completely content with them, who they are, and the things that they do. You will understand and you will be content with that. But it's that, that need for so much, right? Like, as a materialistic society, I think that's also why root chakra energy is here, we tend to have this preconceived belief in our subconscious minds that we need a lot, right? We need a lot of people, we need so many options, we need a lot of money, we need a lot of clothes, we need a lot of cars, all of that stuff, right? And that tends to make people dissatisfied in their relationships with others because they tend to think, oh, I need more women or I need more men. This one person isn't satisfying me. I need a bunch of people, right? But then they try to go find another person and it's the same thing. You know what I mean? It's the same thing over and over again. Um, they keep turning up short. So for some of you, this is you. And for some of you, this could be someone you're dealing with you know, a relationship partner or whatnot. But until someone understands that this is all coming from an insecurity, that if you don't find fulfillment with one person, you know, that comfort is gonna come in every relationship. You're gonna get comfortable with everyone at some point. It's not always gonna be the butterflies and the giddiness and the freshness, right? It's all gonna stabilize at some point. And some people are not meant to be in those kind of relationships, you know? But if that's something that you truly seek, then some of you need to understand that it's a part of the relationship to get comfortable. And yes, there are other options out there but you chose this person because you love them. And love is the strongest thing in the world. It really is. But you have the Page of Wands here. So I sense a new opportunity. Somebody's got their eye on you, Pisces. That's what I'm seeing. Pro probably a fire sign or an air sign. I also see you having your eye on the prize. That's what I'm seeing as well. Especially if you're a Pisces with fire in your chart. Some of you got your eye on the prize. It's kind of like you're in this mentality of I'm just getting my paper. You know, I'm just getting my money. You know, the Page of Wands is facing the Seven of Pentacles. So some of you are carefully watering and growing some sort of relationship or career or something for yourself. I think for some of you it's a career. I think for a lot of you it's a career. You know, you're very focused on learning all you can about this particular endeavor, about this position that you want to fill, so that you can tackle it head on. And then we have this Six of Swords at the end of the spread. So I think for some of you, my advice here is to wait until you've established that business. Wait until you have full grounding in that career that you are pursuing before you get into a relationship. Because some of you try to juggle both and it just doesn't work. Because some of you are very career focused right now, and that's great. I applaud you, I really do. 
If that's something that you are, you know, you've got that vision, Pisces, you're reaching for it. You're heavily guided by source. And I think for some of you, you know, you've walked away from a connection because you need to focus fully on this endeavor, on this career path, on this soul journey. Because I think something was growing really quickly here, like a relationship. And just as quick as it was, just as quick as it was growing, it left. I think for some of you, you ran away from something that was growing very fruitfully because you're afraid, because you're wounded, Pisces. Or vice versa. This is for a cross watcher as well, so take it how it resonates, really. You know, someone was wounded here. That's why they ran away. And I think this workaholic card is also saying work on yourself. Work on the way you communicate with others, more importantly, Pisces. That's something that I see very, very blatant. Some of you don't talk at all. You run, some of you run away from your problems. People ask you if you're okay. They ask you if you need help. You say, no, no, no. It's a pride thing. It really is, guys. Get over that pride. Seven deadly sins, guys. And I don't believe in sin, but I do believe in low vibrational energies, right? And pride can be quite the low vibrational energy. There's times, you know, where you can have pride and it's good. You know, it's good to be proud of oneself and one's abilities. But when there's too much to the point where you won't budge, that's, it's only hindering you. That's all I'm saying. It's only hindering you. I see you moving into smoother waters toward the end of the month, but you really got to work on yourself, especially the way that you communicate with others, Pisces. I'm just being honest. I don't make these messages, guys. I only translate them. Some of you are very artistically expressive. If that's what you need, to express yourself and to let all of this crap go, do it. Because you've been holding on to something for too damn long, Pisces, too damn long. And you cannot keep sitting in this victim energy. You can't. Because at what point are you gonna take responsibility for your own life and your own emotions? Yes, people can hurt you, Pisces, they can. People are totally capable of being assholes and being rude and being mean and being hurtful and being pure evil, right? But at what point are you going to stop blaming everybody else and look at yourself and say, I choose not to let those assholes, those evil people, those rude people affect me. I'm going to make that choice. Because you can choose who you let into your energy field. So if somebody consistently hurts you, at some point it's also you who's allowing them to do it by continuing to let them in your energy. I hope that's making sense. You know, I don't tell people what they want to hear. I really don't. I tell people what they need to hear. That's what the cards do. Any reader who's telling you what you want to hear, Pisces, is a fraud. And recently I've heard some stories from some of my people, you know, who have told me about readers who were charging them lots of money and were telling them everything that they wanted to hear, but everything ended up wrong. Everything that they were saying was ending up, you know, the opposite of what the reader was saying. And it is because, Pisces, there are people out there who will try to tell you what you want to hear but not Madame DeVoe, no. As a Scorpio, I will put it flat out there. And you know what, sometimes that's what we need. In order to become the best version of ourselves, sometimes we need a little bit of tough love, guys. So what is the yoga pose that Pisces should be doing in the month of February in order to establish balance, happiness, contentment, and peace in their life? 
was the yoga pose for Pisces to establish balance, peace, healing, and forward movement in their life. Some of you really need strength. Is something that I'm seeing. You need the strength to say no, because some of you really need to create those boundaries for yourself. Plank, the ultimate strength pose. Falakasana. This is variations of plank. You know, if you have wrist problems, you can always get down on your elbows. You can also um, get down on your knees. You can bend your knees and have them facing up. I actually have a nerve issue in my feet, so I can't do plank like this, so I tend to do it with my knees bent. Um, so find your own way. You know, there's so many ways to do plank. Look this up on the internet. Plank pose, falakasana. If you already have a practice, you can incorporate this into your practice. Um, if you don't, you can do this on its own. But this is great for strength stabilization, right? Pushing, right? You're pushing against the forces that are pushing against you, right? That's what I see here, creating boundaries and saying no. I think that's something you really need, Pisces, is to learn to say no. I think that's also why this Queen of Swords is here, too. You know, some of you really need to say no in your work, especially, is something that I'm seeing. You know, creating that healthy distance between you and those who don't serve you. There's some people who need to be let go here. But I think the biggest thing you need right now is strength. The strength to continue on, to continue to discover yourself and to heal. But healing is something that you, Pisces, have to want to do. But plank one last time for your strength, for strength in your life, for strength in your emotions, for strength in your solar plexus chakra, that self-control, right? That respect for oneself. That's what I'm seeing this is for. But that is what I'm seeing here, Pisces. If you'd like to book a personal reading, feel free to DM me or email me. All of my information will be in the description box below. And feel free to check out the Miss Jet Set link, guys. Please vote for me. I have spoken about this many times on my channel, but I would appreciate it if you guys could vote for me one time a day. And other than that, I will see you later. Take care, Pisces, and have a beautiful rest of your month. Bye-bye.